ultimately, you know, I would think this is predominantly um, related to uh, electric vehicle development. Um, but sort of an indirect, uh, you know, perhaps comment here is, you know, they're they're benefiting um, because foreign imported pickup trucks. Uh, there is a 25% tariff on those foreign imported pickup trucks. So they do get a benefit from manufacturing pickups in the U.S., which is, um, you know, fairly substantial. Don't know if that's what uh, the president's implying here at all, though. So we'd have to get a little bit more granularity uh, probably from the company. I understand that you don't have the numbers right in front of you, Jamie, but in terms of order of magnitude, what sorts of tariffs is GM receiving for electric vehicle manufacturing? And this is separate, um, just to clarify, this is separate from the federal uh, electric vehicle tax credits, correct, per car purchased? Yeah, that's that's correct. I mean, I think at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I, I don't have a percent, I don't have an exact dollar for you on, on, on the Chevy Bolt, for, or sorry, the Chevy Bolt, for example. Um, but, uh, you know, I would think on the order of magnitude of maybe five to $10,000 equivalent a unit in terms of production for, uh, for EV specifically. Um, and, and again, it would be hard to estimate what the you know, the negative impact would be if there was ever a removal of, of truck tariffs. Again, hard to understand exactly what is being um, uh, threatened here in the in the tweet. Um, but but certainly, you know, it, it would put a you know cost burdens on a company that's already facing cost burdens from fuel efficiency investments and safety and connectivity and so forth. J Jamie, it's Dom. Um, re really quickly, it, if there were to be actions like this taken in the removal of some of these subsidies, the competitive issue comes into play. Who are the most formidable, I guess, beneficiaries in case GM gets put at this kind of a possible hypothetical disadvantage? Well, I mean, you'd think that, you know, in their key segments and key margin drivers, it would be the domestics, uh, you know, Ford and, and Chrysler, Fiat Chrysler. Um, but hard to see how this could be uh, undertaken legally as well, right? So I, it would take uh, probably some time, probably be drawn out. There would be appeals and so forth. So, so this would not be something that I don't think happens overnight. Um, but where we would be most concerned is where, you know, the predominant sort of EBIT margin drivers are for GM, and that's on the, you know, the pickup truck and the utility side. This is a broader question, though, Jamie. Let's say it's not subsidies. Let's say it's something else. I mean, effectively, the president is saying, GM, you're in my crosshairs. That's what this move is, isn't it? So is the move lower in the stock by about 3%? Is that justified for now, knowing that this company is in the president's crosshairs? Look, you know, let, let's take a step back and just remember that what GM announced yesterday was many years in the, in the making and in the coming. So I, I don't think it was sort of a, an if, it was a when decision. They had to, uh, at some point, make a decision to pull out of cars. Ford's already made this decision, uh, and, and Ford doesn't seem to be in the same crosshairs. You know, they need to figure out a way to earn their cost of capital through an economic cycle. And we're very late innings in the auto cycle as it stands. Um, so they're obviously signaling that with cost pressures that they see today and a potential downtick in, in auto sales, perhaps in the 2020, 2021 time frame, in addition to accelerated investments on EVs and AVs, you know, they need to do what they can to right-size their portfolio. And I think this is in the best interest of GM. And longer term, certainly the country. A lot of the AV development, remember, is in the United States. Um, you know, won't be as many jobs, but certainly very high-quality jobs, we would argue. So this is, well, it really wasn't an if, it was a when decision, and it's the best thing for GM in our view.